Hello, my sweets. Welcome back. Today, we're making Ghanaian Togbe or Nigerian Puff Puff. This recipe is so easy, step by step. Even as a beginner, you are going to nail it. Let's get started. To a bowl, add in some all purpose flour. You may use hard or plain flour. To that, some sugar, salt, nutmeg and yeast we'll stir everything together until it is well combined and we'll make a well in the middle add in some warm water pineapple and vanilla extract i want the flavor it is optional but it's going to make your tube smell good i'm not adding all the water that the recipe requires. I'm adding it in little by little until I have reached my desired consistency. I like a very soft tobe, so I'm going for a more loose batter. Now, if you love your tobe to be dense, then at this point, you are set. But if you like it soft like me, then you add a little more and this is the consistency that I am going for any softer than this and you may have ruined your batter. Today's special twos goes to Shana Maguire from Champaign, Illinois and Getty Cooks. Thank you for always watching and engaging in my videos. This is our desired consistency. So we're going to cover it up and keep it in a warm place until our batter doubles in quantity. It's been about two hours and I'm going to heat up some oil and we're using our joyful cookware to fry our tube to see how well it does. Back to check on our batter. It has risen beautifully, doubled just like we want it to be and it's just so nice and fluffy. So I'll release some of the air pockets, not everything, and then I'll scoop it up and I have a technique that I use to drop the batter into the oil. So once you scoop, you wanna throw and catch to ensure that the batter is nice and smooth. And then you go ahead to drop it into your oil. So let's fry. <laughs> so I'm just going to drop it and I'm testing out this pot. Usually when I get cast iron pots, I like to use it to fry to wear first. It'll stick on the bottom for a few seconds, but most of the time it comes up on its own just like you saw right there. It is just perfect. I love, love, love the pot. I'm not a big cast iron fan because of the weight, but this was just right for me, especially this woke style. If you're interested in purchasing one, please head to her website, joyfulcook.com and pick yours up. And as you can see, our togbe is frying beautifully golden, just the way we want it to be. We're going to get it out onto a paper towel lined tray and then all that will be left would be for us to serve and enjoy. We usually enjoy this with Hausa Coco, Makoko, peanuts, ground nuts, all by itself. It's super delicious, but ensure that you enjoy it hot or warm. If you've enjoyed me until now, I do want to thank you so very much. Why not let me know where you're watching from and I'll give you a special too in our next recipe. Until I see you in the next one, stay safe, keep loving each other, and remember that the love of God and family is life's greatest blessing. And guys, ke unamini uchemi suite mahabotu. Bye y'all. Sending money home this summer? Download Tap Tap Send today and use our promo code Sweet Team to get a $15 bonus when you send your first 50.